Family Islander and GB News' very own uh, Darren Grimes as well. Darren, I I'll start with you. Uh, is Soella Braverman right to say that white people shouldn't walk around with this sense of collective sin and guilt for history? Things that happened before they were born. Absolutely. I mean, Patrick, if we go down this road, where does it end, right? Do I have a claim to say that the Vikings came over to the northeast of England back in the day? Do we have a claim to say that in 1066 the French show us a penny or two? How about the Romans? Maybe I, my ancestors were Irish. Maybe I've got claim to trace Oliver Cromwell's family and track them down for a bob or two. This is just obscene. Of course, people shouldn't be walking around feeling guilty. I mean, I remember during the heat of the Black Lives Matter uh, insanity, frankly, that consumed this nation after the death of an American man, where a little white girl was on bended knee holding a placard saying that her whiteness, it, it basically makes her guilty in some way. Children, that's a child. And of course, this is seeping through to schools through this critical race theory as well. I think it's right for a home secretary to stand up and say, actually, this is nonsense, divisive nonsense that should be rejected at the highest order, which it has been. All right. Femi, your views? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hopefully put, a, put a, a, a counter argument to some of the kind of rampant nonsense which has been spoken about this um, this issue. The reality is that um, we don't necessarily need to talk about uh, guilt. I'm not guilty for something I didn't do, but we do need to talk about understanding. Uh, you've tied it in to the the, the issue of uh, migration and the issue of um, how the UK deals with its relationship to other countries. And I think if people did, uh, if white people in the country did have a bigger understanding of how the UK's past and present actions actually lead to the, a, lot of, a lot of the economic inequality that exists in the world today, which pushes people um, to flee poverty in other parts of the world, in which the UK is complicit in through owning various tax, well, through having various tax protectorates and tax haven protectorates attached to the company, Cayman Islands, Jersey, etc., through a history of pillage and theft, through all the, 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 the diamond and emerald companies listed on the London Stock Exchange, which helped to, to, to siphon wealth out of other parts of the world. If the UK did have a better understanding of its own role in why there was so much economic imbalance, people might actually empathise a little bit more with people fleeing, um, fleeing not just war, but also poverty. Uh, Darren, do you think that this is actually a problem that exists? Do you think that white people are being made to feel guilty or held to account for things that they've got nothing to do with? Or, I suspect the counter-argument to, to it would be, is Suella Braverman almost inventing a problem here to get right-wing Tory votes? What do you think? No, I don't think that at all. I mean, we've just heard from your guests there, like an entire diatribe on how awful Britain has been in the past. Well, actually, Britain is responsible for the Industrial Revolution. That's it's responsible for many working class people around the world not dying at childbirth or crawling around in their own filth, right? The, the gift that Britain gave the world is one that has reduced relative poverty around the globe. So I don't accept that Britain is some unique evil. Actually, I think Britain has been a gift to the world. I think Suella Braverman is right to point out, I mean, the idea that white people don't know about things that have been committed in the past, of course we know that. We talk about empire, slavery, every two seconds. Patrick, I can't even imagine the number of times where you've had to talk about this as a topic on this very show. Mm. It's a complete nonsense to say that we don't discuss these issues. What's feeding through is this idea that white people have an inherent privilege. I think that's a uniquely racist idea. Tell my grandfather, Patrick, who was down a mine as a teenager, mm. that he had some unique level of privilege going back mm. when he fought in the Korean War. Did he have some unique level of privilege? Okay. It is a racist delusion and ought to be called out like it has been. Oh, all right, Femi, I mean, there's a lot to come back to there, Femi, to be fair. But I mean, I think on one of the points that, that Darren was making, which is about this idea now that, and Suella Bradman was raising it, which is she's essentially saying that what a lot of people on the left are trying to do is pigeonhole people and, and, and put us all into little boxes, which actually possibly does more to divide us than it does unite us. And whilst we're focusing on the past and things that our grandparents or great-grandparents may or may not have even done, we're not actually sorting out the present, are we? How would you respond to that? 
I mean, the present comes from the past. The idea that the Industrial Revolution is some amazing thing that was gifted to the world is is, is farcical, to be honest. The Industrial Revolution was 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 built on um, the profits of the slave trade. It was built on the fact that at the same time as the Industrial Revolution happened, Britain had an empire which allowed it to bring in huge amounts of wealth from other parts of the world and fuel this revolution. This revolution wouldn't have happened without Britain being able to subjugate other parts of the world. And again, we can say that we know this history, but we don't know the reality of this history. We know divorce behavior Headed, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. But and how does it help us now, Femi, to be fair? Um, how, does it, how, does it, how does it help us um, now? But, 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 but to answer your point, the past links to today because the past is a result of today. The wealth that this country have has, which is a large part of the reason people tried to migrate here, is a result of its history. Okay. And history is what informs the present. History is what has led to the present. You can't, you can't divorce talking about now from talking about yesterday. Okay, just just very quickly, Femi, because I'm aware that we're a bit pressed for time here. But but on that, then, which is this, we're aware of that. You've spoken about it, and you know it can be taught more in schools or, or whatever. But but should there be a sense of guilt that comes with that? I mean, do we have to wear it like a? No one, no one should be inherently guilty for something they didn't do. But what you can be guilty about is not trying to as a nation or as a country come to terms with no one says a german should feel guilty about the holocaust well, this is, but this the germany has point, an understanding this is, this is a really an understanding good point of its history this is this is a good point because i feel like we take a lot more of the burden than for, potentially if we're applying the same logic here right then obviously people of certain other european countries at a certain uh, period of time both of you thank you very very much we could talk all day about that but alas we're not able to uh, that was uh, answer from rice fm in islander and gb news's very own darren grimes another member of the saturday five by the way you can check that out eight till nine p.m every single saturday right here on gb news now supporting farmers is not about some nostalgic vision of the uk's rural past but about growing the economy creating